<clears throat> Good morning. Welcome to devotion number 1,311. It is? Yep. Hmm. New mercies every morning. Um, we're beginning with a hymn that we have not sung before. We had to learn it this morning. And I, uh, I don't know, I just picked it because somebody commented yesterday about <laughs> us playing, uh, I can't wait to see if you can play that one on guitar. Uh, um, a challenge. Yeah, and uh, I d hadn't. This wasn't. This was not in the old hymn book. It, I don't think I've never heard this. We've never sung it in church okay. that I can remember. Yeah. The words are fabulous. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, just listen to these first two verses. Lord, it belongs not to my care whether I die or live. To love and serve thee is my share, and this my grace, thy that grace must give. give. If life be long, I will be glad that I may love that I may long obey. If short, yet why should I be sad to soar to endless day? I, if you have a hymnal, I, and I hope you do, uh, read this hymn, number 757. And of course, we would love it if you sing along. <clears throat> Beginning at verse 1. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives and he gave gifts to men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower regions, the earth? He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens 
that he might fill all things. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. <clears throat> Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. You read that really well. The only thing I would improve is, after every verse, so we'd have to stop and read it again twice more. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. That, aye, aye, aye. There's, there's about That's eight sermons. Your job. I know. There's about eight sermons in here. The first word, I mean the first word in Greek, therefore. The big word, remember? We, we always talk about therefore, um, or, or the connecting, or but, but the connecting words. In, in English, it's a big word. In Greek, it's only three letters. And yet, uh, how important this is, it, we've been, it's connecting all the way through here. From uh, chapter 1 at verse 15, for this reason, and it's, so he's, the big idea occurs in the very first paragraphs, that we have received an inheritance. We were called to something huge together. And uh, um, chapter 2, verse 11, Therefore remember. Uh, chapter 3, verse 1, For this reason I, Paul. Uh, verse 14, For this reason I bow my knees. Now, chapter 4, I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you've been called. It, it it connects, connects, connects one idea that depends on the one before it. And so, uh, having, having just read in the previous chapter about being this one family, uh, um, grounded in love, the, 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 all the things that Paul is praying for for them, now he says in chapter 4, grow up. It's time, it's time to grow up then. We, it's, time to, it's time to take up your tasks. It's time to get to work. It's time to recognize we have been given these gifts, these roles to play in the kingdom of God. We, we're uh, one body, one spirit, called the one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father. Uh, at the very beginning you talked about we have this inheritance. This is what it is. We're, we're called to be in this family. Um, and we have all these things in common. One, one body, one faith, one Lord, one hope, baptism, God and Father of all. Uh, with all the differences that, that we can see among us, these things we, we share. And this grace, this gift was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift, according to, according to how, he, how he blesses each of us, how he chooses each of us. He ascended to heaven, now he gives gifts to men. The gift, he gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for the, for the building up of the body of Christ. That's the, that's the heart of this. Does that... Uh, does that... Is that talking about... So you got, you got a pastor... And maybe there's some other of these of this list at your church, a prophet, an apostle, an evangelist. No. It means you all have all those things. N not that you are called to all those roles, but but you're holding them here. The prophets and apostles, they're here. And all their words are given to you. And and as you grow up in the faith, you learn more and more to to be strengthened and guided and uh, um, blessed by these things that you are able to carry out the tasks that God lays before you each day. 
uh, evangelist. You were called to faith. Somebody brought the good news into your life. The the pastors and teachers. The the uh, and here. I know there's a debate about this and how the punctuation ought to be. Um, it, it, it's people get sensitive. There were no like Lutheran schools back then, right? Congregation schools, that wasn't a thing. Um, but the role of teaching, uh, Paul identifies with the role of preaching. It's the same thing. It's not, the, it's not something different. Um, but God calls people among his congregations, among the body of Christ, to teach other people. To proclaim and to teach the word, to guide and to teach, to be shepherds and teachers. Um, and we have all kinds of variations on that. So what we call pastors are not exactly equivalent to what Paul called elders, uh, necessarily, in, in little house churches and so on. The, the ways, the details of the ways in which churches are organized aren't the same. It, that's, that's not, it doesn't matter, okay? The point of what Paul is saying here is these gifts were given to us so that we may grow up in faith to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ so that we're no longer children. Toss back and forth. Growing up means uh, going to school, learning from the scriptures, from the prophets, apostles, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, and, and attaining the fullness of Christ, that is, becoming more like Jesus. That seems like a really huge thing, doesn't it? But... Uh, Speaking the truth in love, growing up in every way into him who is the head in Christ. We'll talk about that more tomorrow or, yeah, Friday. <clears throat> um, being in Christ. Where Christ is the head and we are members of him and members one of another. Uh, the whole body joined together. I'll tell you, when, when our children were being especially childish, that's the thing that broke the most. It's, it was their oneness with the family. Right? When, a, when a child is having a temper tantrum, what are they doing? I want to run my own life and be myself. But when, when a child is... Any other emotion on, on the scale, whether happy or sad or you know, all the other things that can be going on, um, when a child is not having a, a temper tantrum, they are a part of the family with siblings, with parents. If they're sad, we're sad together. If they're happy, they're cheering us up and, and we're happy together. If they're busy and working, we are laboring together. If they are rebelling and yelling, then then we are, to some extent, broken apart. Paul says, when you grow up, when you grow up into the head in Christ, this is when all these things of the ministry are, are being fulfilled, reaching their fulfillment. Growing up in the head into Christ, joined together by every joint with which it's equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. And what an amazing church that would be. If the body of Christ, if we were working together, each part properly, joined to one another, making the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. Christ the head. After all of these gifts, after the, in the, the inheritance, after our grace, and, and not by works, and after the Jews and the Gentiles are brought together, after we're in this mystery of the gospel that, that, that is for 
all who don't deserve it. Um, after Paul prays all these blessings for us, wow, we, uh, we need to set ourselves aside a bit and, and grow up in Christ. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, it's wonderful to walk through the doors of the church on a Sunday morning and greet brothers and sisters in Christ and, and be greeted, and be welcomed, and be a part of the family, the body. That is not everybody's experience every Sunday. Many stay away. And they're having a, a bit of a fit and, and won't join us. Or maybe they've been pushed away. Some come and, and we have uh, differences and arguments and we want it done our way. Lord, and then, and then Satan has deceived us and, and caused us to be broken apart as a church because we follow different teachings from your word. Lord, grant that all your people in every church everywhere may be driven back into your word and search the scriptures, the prophets and apostles and evangelists. Grant that they may find in your word your truth. And being drawn ever closer to you, then also be ever closer to one another until at last we are grown up into the head. And each of us in our place, serving one another, that we may be filled with love so that the world may see you at last. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen.